ready for the meeting? I know, I'm late. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do we it. have a lot to talk about this year. I know. What's up, my beautiful board? What's up, SnapFam? What's up, Anon? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to hold this meeting before our Thanksgiving break just to tell you how thankful I am to have you guys a part of my board. And I just wanted to take a moment just to sit down with you all before we go on break to kind of reflect on what we have accomplished so far throughout the semester and in addition to talk about what we will accomplish throughout the rest of the school year. You know, I think we started off on a great foot with mental health awareness. You know, it's our new initiative this year and uh, for September for our mental health awareness month, you know, I think we really reached out to a lot of the students and you know, gave them a positive note to start out on. I agree. So by the way, guys, I just want to say we got money in the bank. Hey. I'm really glad that from the P1 liaisons, we got a lot of members this year, over 80 members, and I'm actually really proud of that. And yeah, you know, if you guys ever need anything, just catch me outside. You know, Aya, we picked up two legit P1 liaisons this semester, right? Oh yeah, we did. We have Shivani Sharma and Melinda Nguyen. As the P1 liaisons, we were able to drive membership and make more students aware of our organization. And we are a medium-sized chapter, and we were able to recruit a large number of P1 students this year and get those students involved in the community. The students were very excited to participate in some of the events, including the Saha Clinic, and they're definitely looking forward to the events coming up. Speaking of the Saha Health Clinic, we had a P1, P2, and P3 student collaborate with a pharmacy preceptor and Kaiser Permanente doctors who dedicate their time to see underprivileged patients who don't have any health insurance. In honor of HIV AIDS month in October, we were able to bring guest speaker Mr. Guy Dutcher who spoke on his experiences living with HIV and AIDS, uh, as well as educate us as future pharmacists on how to communicate and interact with people living with HIV and AIDS. So in September, with the help of SNAFA members, we served the community at the Indian Temple by providing screening on blood glucose, blood pressure, and along with educating the community on chronic kidney disease, stroke, and diabetes. And also, just the beginning of this month in November, we partnered with Blood Source to have a blood drive for our students, staff, and faculty. Thank you to our Blood Source for this special opportunity and all those people that signed up for making this a successful drive. The students were also able to participate in health fairs, predominantly uh, servicing the Hispanic population and educating them on the risk of stroke and also CKD. So what do you think of the immunization events we had this semester? Well, I think our first event went well in collaboration with um, Walmart and because our students really loved it and the preceptor was open to precepting more students in the future. So I think the other one we had, the, Indian, the one at the Indian Health Temple, was pretty good too. The one in collaboration with Walgreens. Uh, we had a pretty good turnout, and I think we did a pretty good job making sure that you know we were able to vaccinate the public and and really promote public health out there. For the month of November, we're celebrating National Diabetes Month. Our first challenge was to create a video where we debunked the common myths of diabetes, and we were able to win third place. We were also honored to receive second place for the challenge of posting a fact connecting CKD, stroke, and diabetes. Oh yeah, in October we had some great events at the Giant Pumpkin and Harvest Festival and also at the uh, Celebrando Health Festival. We had the opportunity to educate the public on the underlying causes of chronic kidney disease, such as hypertension and diabetes. So overall, I think we've had a pretty successful semester so far. Um, just in general, we obtained so many new SNAFA members thanks to our lovely P1 liaisons. We started a mentorship program with UC Davis. Uh, we also reached out to various underserved communities, provided them with immunizations in addition to other health and uh, educational services. A simple blood pressure or blood glucose reading definitely goes a long way, and hopefully we continue to have an impact in patients' lives. And I look forward to, forward to continue serving you guys as president and connecting more pieces next semester. So thank you guys. And let's not forget about our historian. Thanks. I guess I have nothing else to add, guys, so have a good evening. I'm out. Peace. Peace. <laughs> 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 <laughs>